Michael's right. Christina's in way over her head. She's 17. Old enough to make her own decisions. Hello? So Johnny's putting her in danger, don't you see that? He's trying to start a war with Dad, and if he kicks him off enough, it's going to happen. Listen, Molly, you've got to understand, we all want to help Christina, but you covering for her is not doing her any favors. Hello. Miss Davis, this is Epiphany Johnson down at General Hospital. I'm calling to let you know that your daughter has been admitted into the ER. Christina, what, what happened? She was injured when John Sakara's car exploded. <sighs> e and uh, for hearing us out, I'm sorry. You wasted your time. Everything happens for a reason. The universe unfolds as it will, whether we see it clearly or not. Good luck with your search. Have a nice night. Well, that was a dead end. Yeah, we could check for other Karen Andersons. The officer already did. That was the only one that fit the profile. So what do we do now? Well, we're back to square one. I mean, we know Frank was here. We know he's back. We don't know where he is. Well, then we might have to wait for him to make a move after all. And then we're reacting to the guy again. I don't like that. That puts us in a vulnerable position. How is she? She's, she's stable. She's in good condition. Where is she? With Dr. Weber, he's doing some tests, and Johnny's with her. How soon can we see her? I don't think that you should go in there right now. It'll just cause undue stress. Really, Alexis? Okay, you know what? I'll, whatever you think is best. Don't shut me out of her life, please, okay? So, uh, what do we got so far? Well, we have three photographs of dead bodies at crime scenes. Real crimes, all unsolved, different parts of the country. Franco either committed the murders himself, or he took the pictures of the victims after they were killed. And he sent three pictures to three different people. You, Maxie, who he, he used and slept with, and Jocelyn, who's only a baby. That's the one that worries me the most, Jocelyn. I mean, he already threatened her once. Broke into the Jack's house, spray-painted his signature tag all over the, uh, the nursery wall. Kidnapped her mother. Why send the photos? Because Franco wants us to know that he can get to Jocelyn if he doesn't get what he wants. The question is, what does he want? Well, we're not going to get anything by standing around right here. Let's get back to the station. So, Patrick, you saw her yourself, right? So she's okay? Yes, yes? she was awake and responsive when she came in. Okay. What, what tests are they giving her? Basic tests. They'll probably yeah. do some blood work, a uh, CAT scan. It's all standard procedure. It's exactly what I would do if I was Dr. Weber. Okay, so we're not going to... Hey, hey, Dr. hey. no, 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 no. You have no right to be here. You need to leave. I told you to stay away from her, and you didn't okay, listen. The last She's thing 17 I wanted was years old. What the hell were you thinking? Because Come of you. On. Mom, you Molly should is here. Better. This is not appropriate. Like, you don't see her again. You stay away I, from I, her. I would leave. I would. I... Christina made me promise that I would stay, and I told her that I would keep that promise. I'm sorry. Well, Christina has had a thorough checkup, and she came through with flying colors. Oh, thank God. No concussion, no, no internal damage. No, no. But I did order a CAT scan as a precaution. Her prognosis is excellent. Come on, can we see her? As soon as the test is done. And then she can come home, right? See why not, honey? Well, Chrissy got really lucky. Yeah, she did. Will you keep an eye on her? I've got to go somewhere. I'll be right back. Something like that. Take care of. Uh, uh, success, I hope. Karen Anderson denies being Franco's mother. What? I, I gave you irrefutable proof. I'm just telling you, we got nothing from her. No, we think Frank was back in Port Charles, but we can't be sure. I just saw him. Hi, Mom. I got you those herbs you like. Mugwarts, juniper berries, garlic to keep the vampires away. Oh. <laughs> What have you 
done now? Where? At my office. When? Earlier, I, um, turned from my desk and he was standing there with more flowers. Flowers? Why didn't you call me? I came right here. Franco has been sending me roses, dozens of them. What do you think that he wants? Don't worry, I haven't done anything, Mom. Two policemen were here looking for you. They know who I am. Good. What did you tell them? I pretended I didn't know what they were talking about. Let's keep it that way. I try not to listen to what people say. I avoid the news. I don't tell anyone you're my son. But still, I hear things about you, Bobby. Terrible things. They're true, aren't they? Security after Franco left? I tried. I was scared. Did he threaten you? No, no, he doesn't threaten. He just has this way of making your skin crawl. Okay, why, why don't you tell us about the flowers? Um, they started showing up earlier today, and honestly, at first, I thought they were from Spinelli. Okay, but Franco sent these roses. Why? Who knows why Franco does anything? They were five dozen perfectly long stem red roses, and then he showed up later with six more. Five and a half dozen roses, why the half? And he said he likes the number 66. Did he try to do anything? No, no, he seemed disappointed in me. He said he had a message for you. What do you say? Hi. What, that, that's it? Yes, he said, tell Jason I said hi. I mean, if this is about you, why did he feel the need to pay me a visit? Because the Demented One is a fiend with one purpose, to torment us all. He could have killed you. That would have been all my fault. I knew they'd come, those two policemen. I'm sorry if it was an inconvenience, but it was necessary. One was short and stocky, longish hair. The other was taller, probably didn't say much. Yes. Uh, he is the hardest person to engage in a simple conversation. They said you were obsessed with death. They think you've killed people, Bobby. I am obsessed with death subject of my work, but art, as of now, isn't yet a crime in this country. I worry about you. I wish you'd be more careful. Mom, I'm fine. It's just that being in the public eye, I'm subject to more scrutiny than an ordinary person would have to endure. Why do you think I film everything? So I'll have proof. Camera never lies. Except it always does. Thanks for not bringing the crew tonight. I didn't have time to fix my hair. <laughs> you look fine. I don't think those cops will bother you again. If they do. Oh, I know how to behave. This will be over soon. What do you mean? We're there. Finally. The culmination of everything I've been working for. That's good, right? Sure. Spinelli, how are you to know that Franco would show up at Maxie's office? There's no one to blame here except for me. I started this months ago when I stupidly went along with Franco. But Franco is impossible to predict. Exactly. He gave me weird vibes from the moment I met him, but I was too caught up in his fame and my own ambition, and I ignored my instincts and compromised myself. Is there something you're not telling me? I think you know all you need to know. What Maximista isn't saying is that it's the Jackal's own deficiencies that brought this psychopath into our lives. No, it's, it's really, it's not. Maxie is just a means to an end. Franco could just as easily pick Sam, Lulu, or Michael to get to me. Okay? I'm the reason that Franco showed up. It's on me to finish this. You were always a creative child. Not always the easiest to get along with. And now I'm Prince Charming. You raised me well. Mm, no, I think I was so consumed with my own pursuits, I didn't always give you the attention you craved. Oh. Dysfunctional childhood explains everything. You were always good at spinning the truth. Like when you started the graffiti, you didn't call it art until you got caught. <laughs> well, what makes art art? Because I say it is. 
I'd known it was that easy, I wouldn't have gone through all this trouble. What trouble? What have you done, Bobby? What are you going to do? I love you, Mom. Oh, I love you too, Bobby.